Hello. Have you ever wondered how to make child custody arrangements? Well, I'm Dr. Felicia, and I've worked with custody issues for many years. I'd like to help you make this as seamless as possible. When you're making child custody arrangements, very often they call in a professional parent coordinator if there's an issue that you can't resolve. Your lawyers usually try to help you make out arrangements that are best suited for the child. Uh, what you want to do is keep life as consistent as possible for the child. The best way to do that is let the child have one primary residence and maybe the alternate parent that they see every other weekend and vacations. Uh, the other ideal way would be to have the child go one full week to one parent, one full week to another parent, but of course this would require that you live in the same school di district. That's not always possible. So more than likely you're going to have the week on and alternate parent on a different weeks. What this calls for is very specific changing of holidays, shared holidays, alternating holidays. And the other thing is to communicate problems or issues. For instance, if the child is sick and you need to send an inhaler or you need to send some medicine, you can communicate by email and it cuts down friction and tension between the parents. So email helps you keep a record that you actually did uh, communicate the problem and also it keeps the emotional tone out of your communication. If you have to drop the child halfway to a district, be sure that you stop someplace in that district and get a receipt. For instance, go to a McDonald's, get a time-stamped receipt to prove that you actually drove two hours or whatever it is that you needed to do. And if the other parent doesn't show up for the visitation, at least you have a record of that. So to have that um, custody arrangements, uh, that way you always have a record, whether you use email, timestamp from a restaurant, etc. You always have a record that you actually did your end of the bargain. The other thing that's important to remember is honor the other person's respect when they're in that household. If you're supposed to call at 7 o'clock on your off nights, then call at 7 o'clock. Don't try to call at 9 o'clock and expect them to wake the child up, etc., because you're intruding on the other person's private family life. So if you can honor, just go by the rules, go by your preset standards for custody and for visitation, you'll be all set. Do wish you the best of luck. Dr. Felicia here. Bye now.